Hi traders, you can see here my best two candidates today. On the top here is IBM, which is down almost 5%. On the other end, you can see Netflix, which is up almost 6%. So as usual, I'm always looking for a pullback. I don't chase them up or down. I mean, Netflix certainly for long if it goes up and IBM down. You know, fear usually works better than greed. So let's see which one of them is going to do better today. But anyway, if Netflix is going to move up over 3 or 4, 50 or so, I would like to go long after a pullback. And again, you let them come down first and then you take them up. If they just continue moving high, higher right out of the gate, you just can't chase them. But if the pullback, just like Netflix just did, and then decide to move higher, you can think about going long. And Netflix is getting close. Watch it over 30460. Same time I'm watching uh, IBM, which looks like it's about to trigger now. I am short just under 135. I'm short 4,000 shares. Netflix is getting close to 30450. Touched it now. I'm long Netflix, 2,000 shares. Shares. I like better IBM because it's down and usually when the stock is down, it will continue down stronger when, than when the stock is moving to a new high. So I've got a larger size in IBM. I trust it more. The loss is 134.45 and I need to let it move under the lows. My entry was just under 135. I need it under the lows and more. So right now it looks well. It is approaching. Watch the buyers. Yes, we just moved under. Look, the buyers under 134.35 and we're going down, but I need more. That's not enough. Netflix is holding. Didn't do the move I was anticipating so far. It needs to move over three or five to succeed. It's approximately at the point where I bought it. Watch the sellers moving over 305. We were very close. Now we did. I want to sit over 306 or very close to 306. That was my target. It is getting close. Again, watch the sellers at all times. Don't watch the chart. Don't watch the chart. <laughs> Just watch the numbers here. You want to see the sellers moving over 305. And then you look at the buyers because you need to sell to the buyers. So my target is to see the sellers over 306. We are close, a few cents away and over, one point over, almost one point, took the partial. Over 306, took the partial, amazing trade and now back to IBM. IBM touched a new low, once it moved to a new low, it spiked down but now it's pulling back up. It's very close to my entry point, I'm still in green but it's trending lower, therefore I shouldn't be too worried. The lows is 134.17. When it's going to come to a new low, it's probably going to spike down again. That would be the time where I would look for a partial. It's very close to the low, at the lows, under the lows. Can we go? Yes, we did under 134. Spiking down, getting ready for my partial. I'm going to cover 3,600 shares without any sign of a pull. Look, look at this beautiful, beautiful move. Watching the sellers now. I saw the sellers moving up like 20 cents, took my partial, left 400 shares. What an amazing two trades. Look at that, IBM $3,500, Netflix $3,500, over $7,000 in just four trading minutes. All of these trades were posted live in my trading room, traders. You're very, very welcome to join us for a free 14-day trial here. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.